You saw this last night. This is you, the room, and this is you, YouTubers. Pay attention, YouTubers, you c And Merry Christmas. You stand around and watch all the opportunities go by. You sit there, you sit there, you sit there. They sit there, they sit there. They, oh, I'm getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Rick's getting ready. Oh, maybe, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Oh, no, no, I'm tired now. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. And, and there comes somebody like me. Just jumps on and eats it. Maybe the next one, Ray. Who in this room is that male lion? Once you become fearless, life becomes limitless. Uh, and the best advice I've ever given anybody is just do it. Uh, we take too much time procrastinating. We take too, and because we're afraid of failure, and, and uh, uh, fear is false expectations appearing real. We're worried about what other people think. We're trying to fit in. And I can go through a whole litany of, it's not because it's not true, litany of stuff why you are where you are because you just didn't do it. You didn't want to make a mistake. You got a mortgage. You got uh, two ex-wives. You got a 15-year-old daughter who's uh, pregnant. I, your, your, your dad's got Alzheimer's. Your mother's got emphysema spitting up blood. I can go on and on and on and on. But the bottom line is, if you had 15 years ago, you had just done it. 10 years ago, you had just done it. Five years ago, if you had just done it. Six months ago, if you just done it, you probably wouldn't be in the position you're in now. So I'm saying no matter what your age is, it's still time to just fucking go out and do it. Just go out and do it. Oh no, but how do you classify it? Right. Do, I'm gonna give, make you, make you give me two lists. One list, your goals. Intermediate, short-term, long-term goals, okay? Both in personal and business. Then you put another list together, and this is a good exercise for you guys to do. You put another list together and you say, uh, who you met with from Sunday midnight till Saturday midnight for one week. Who you talked to or who you met with, okay. And you put the list together. Okay, well, let's say there's 50 people on this list. Or in your case, maybe 100, I don't know. Okay, am I, it's a short list, only the mentees basically. Five or six people outside the mentees, lawyers and accountants. Now, you put a number by every person that you emailed, Skype, tweet, link, and which one of your goals on this other side of the paper they have anything to do with. You will be staggered, stunned, gobsmacked, awestruck. How much time you're wasting with people that have no no business being in your life to attain your goals. Correct. Saying, okay. Hanging out with losers. Wasting your time with people that mean Correct. nothing to you. Okay. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. That's one of your top, top three, it is. three pieces. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You want to know why you're all up? Just look at the bums you hang around with. And why do I say that? Because after 46 years and teaching you morons for 23 years, you want to take the easy way out. Because you think life is a journey. <laughs> that is horrible. Life's a journey if you're a moron and you're retarded. That's why, you know, that's what that's what you've done with the life up here to four. It's been a journey. And how good is a journey? You tell me. Life doesn't have to be a journey. It's a journey for morons. You think life is a journey for the Trump kids? It's a process, the same process his daddy raised him by. Same for me. Life ain't a journey if you're my kid. It's a process. So you tell me if you're results oriented at all, who's better off, the journey or the process? And for the most part, most people in this room and most people listening on YouTube have to come to the realization, as sad as it is, that you have pissed, you have urinated, heretofore, up until this morning, your entire life down a 
people. Very simple. That's it. If you want to create massive wealth. If you just want to be a happy, slappy housewife from Dundee or a happy, slappy from Toronto or a happy, slappy guy who goes to the Little League games in Mesa, Arizona, then that's okay. But if you want to create some money, and money's not everything. And, but I mean, you can get money and then go save the world. You can get money and save the forests in Brazil. You make money and go save global warming, which I don't believe in. You can, I mean, and save the, uh, the kids in Biafra and all that shit. But without money, you can't save a thing. Don't you understand? Don't the idiots on YouTube understand that? Until you make some shekels. Until you make some coin. You can't help anybody.